Hello everyone. In today's video, we will talk about a really smart strategy with a low risk and a quick profit. Some describe this strategy saying, if you do not win with it, you will not lose with it. Yes, it's Huffman's strategy, the trader who won 30 local and international real money trading competitions. His strategy is one of the best trading strategies with a low risk rate and can be used as an initial guide to know the market movement and to enter successful trades. Let's start directly, this strategy can be used on any time frame, from 1 minute to 1 day or even more, but I recommend using it on a 15 minute frame, 1 hour, or 30 minute frame. But in this video, let's use the 15 minute frame. Well, this strategy is based on two things and nothing more, the first is the trend direction and the second is the stock correction bar, or as Hoffman call it, the inventory retracement bar. Don't worry and don't think about it, because all this will be automatic, but let's understand some simple terms, and let's start with the trend direction. As we know, there are three movements for any trend, the first trend is the uptrend, and I think that everyone likes this trend, including me. The second type is the downtrend, which everyone hates, but believe me, after watching this video, you will like it very much. The third type is horizontal direction, squeeze, vitality, or pause movement, but more important than its name is that it will be the target that we will look for. Okay, let's clear all this up to understand more. When the trend moves in a horizontal direction, it will eventually descend or ascend, and it will make an arithmetic angle that may reach 45 degrees or more. And this angle will be the lost treasure we just found. Well, let's say this is the trend, and it was moving horizontally, and suddenly, it changed its direction downward, making an angle of 45. And this is another trend that was moving horizontally, then suddenly, changed its direction to the top, to make an angle of 45 as well. These will be the angles that we are looking for. First, we try to find the horizontal trend movement, then we determine the angle, and then, we enter into the deal according to some conditions that we will talk about. After we talked about trend types and targeted angles, let's see this in practice on the real chart. And let's start with the trend movement in this area. Here, can we say that the trend is moving in a horizontal form? Of course not, because it is very clear that it is moving to the top, and this means that it is an uptrend, and we do not want to look for an entry point here. But what about the trend direction here? Here, we can notice that the trend is moving horizontally, and in the end it goes downwards, forming an angle of approximately 45 degrees. As we said, these are the angles we are looking for, but let's try to find another example. Here too, we see the horizontal movement of the trend, and at the end, it goes up, forming an angle of 45 as well. And here, in this area, the same thing happens, a horizontal movement, then a downward direction with an angle of approximately 45. Here too, the trend moved horizontally, and then went down to give us the same angle. But wait, here you should focus a little, and don't be fooled by what's happening in front of you. Why don't we say that the trend has gone up and we got an angle of 45 before it goes down? To avoid this problem, Hoffman tells us we should use the exponential moving average indicator because it will clear the view and make it easier for us to know the movement of the trend. Well, let's head to indicators and look for the exponential moving average. In the search field type, EMA, you will find many results, but to not be confused, choose this. Now open the indicator settings and disable all of them, except EMA 20. I will also increase the thickness so that it is clear in the video. Let's also delete the lines that we drew. Well, this is what the exponential moving average 20 looks like. For example, here, the moving average indicator moved straight, and then, it went down to form an angle of 45. Here too, a straight line, then, upwards at an angle of about 45. Here, the line moved horizontally as well, then went down at the same angle. But even with the moving average indicator, we may sometimes get false angles. For this, we will use a much more accurate indicator, but before that, let's see the second condition of this strategy. The second condition is, the inventory retracement bar. But what does this mean, in advanced trading language, when you see an uptrend, look for candlestick bars that open and close 45% or more off their high. And don't depend on the color of the candles, even if they are red, it doesn't matter. 
but in a downtrend, look for candlestick bars that open and close 45% or more off their low. Also, the color does not matter, even if the candles are red. In plain language, the wick should be equal to or greater than the size of the candle by 45%. This may be a little complicated, but do not worry, we will use an indicator that shows these types of candles with ease. Well, let's see this on the chart quickly. Let's zoom in this area so that we can see well. Here, it seems that the trend is moving horizontally, and in the end, it went down to make an angle of 45, and this is the first condition. And little below this angle, we will look for the candles required in the second condition. When we are in the downtrend, the wicks should be from the bottom and should be 45% larger or equal to the size of the candle. Like this red candle here, and also this green candle. Here too, we find a candle with a long wick. There are many of them, and each one is an opportunity to enter a short position. The genius of this strategy is that we will use bullish candles to enter in short positions and the bearish candles to enter in long positions. Here is a horizontal trend, followed by an uptrend, at an angle of about 45. That's good, we will look for our candles here. This is a green candle with a long upper wick, which is more than 45% of its length. If you remember, it's the same candle we used in our Telegram channel to determine the height of 1.7%. Here we find another candle, but I think its wick does not exceed 45% of its length, but the next candle, it looks good for entry. And this one, it looks good as well. After we know Hoffman's conditions, which are angle 45 and wick 45, we will use indicators that show us these wicks and those angles more accurately and more comfortably. Okay, let's open the indicators box. In the search field, type Hoffman. Then choose the inventory retracement bar, which created by UCS Gears. After applying it, you will see many red and green triangles. These triangles represent Hoffman candles, which are the 45% wicks that we explained a while ago. Green triangles indicate a potential opportunity to enter a short position. While, the red triangles indicate a potential opportunity to enter into long positions. If you are an advanced trader, you can only use these two indicators, but as a beginner, don't worry, we will add another indicator to determine the entry angles as well. As we said before, a horizontal trend and an angle of 45, then we look for Hoffman candles, but you don't need to search for them anymore, because now, the indicator has shown us these candles quite simply. Like this candle here, it has a green triangle that tells us we can get into a short position. And this is true, as you can see, the trend has already moved downwards. Let's find another example quickly. Here too, a horizontal trend and an angle of 45% to the bottom, yes, we will look for a short position. According to the indicator that shows the green triangle, this candle, or even this one, will be the target candle for entry. Now we will start applying the strategy, and we will add the last indicator, and this is the most important section in this video, but before that, attach the moving average indicator, because we no longer need it anymore. Also, open the settings of the retracement bar indicator, and remove the price line. Now open the indicators box. And again, in the search field type, Hoffman. But this time choose, Hoffman's overly set. Its shape may seem a little annoying, but after using it, you will discover that it is the most wonderful thing. This indicator has several strategies that can be used, but what concerns us now is to reveal the mystery of Hoffman's strategy. Well, let's make some adjustments before using it by opening the indicator settings. Remove the fast speed line. And remove trend line 4. And the lower line. You can also change this to a normal line. And click OK. Now our chart is ready to apply what we learned earlier, just try to focus a bit and everything will be fine. But we have two other conditions that must be met, the first condition is that, the green line and the purple line must be parallel, and there is no other line between them. Because this condition will help you a lot in knowing that the trend is moving under a 45 angle. 
As you can see in these examples, the image in the middle shows that the green line and the purple line do not have any other lines between them, while the other two examples we see a white line and a blue line between our target lines. The second condition, the target candles must be below the purple line in the case of the downtrend, as we see it here. But in the case of the uptrend, the candles should be above the purple line, and this is logical, as we see here. Okay, now let's start implementing our strategy, and let's say we were trading somewhere here. Suppose we notice a horizontal trend and start waiting for an entry opportunity. Here we notice the appearance of a signal under the candle, but the conditions were not applicable because there is an orange line between the green line and the purple line, and this means that the signal is fake. But here, we notice the appearance of a signal under the candle, the green and purple lines are parallel, and there are no other lines between them, also the candle is below the purple line. Yes, here we will enter a short position. Now there is an important thing, in entering into the deal, the buy order must be placed under the wick of the candle a little, below it by sensor pips, but for the high price of Bitcoin, it must be placed under the wick by about $50, in general, the important thing is a little below it. If you are focused, you will know that we have not entered yet, but just placed a buy order at a certain place. As for taking the profit, it will be as we explained in the previous videos, so let it be here. The stop loss will be according to the purple line, and to know what the purple line is, it is the moving average with 5 length. In the stop loss, some traders use the green line, which is EMA 20, and some use the body of the candle, but I recommend using what you see fit, according to the profit you set. Okay, let's run the player and see what happens. That was good, but let's go ahead. Looks like there's another chance to get in, but not this candle, it's this. Well, let's place our order a little under the wick. Don't forget, always a little under the wick, and I mean it, always. As for the stop loss, as we said, at the purple line, or the body of the candle, or the green line. Taking the profit will be according to the Fibonacci lines, or the trend line, as we explained in a previous video, which is the video of taking profit and stopping loss. This time, let it be according to the downtrend. That was very fast, as the entry and exit took place in the same candle. Now, let's look for an example of an uptrend. And let's say we've been trading somewhere here. Here, we find a candle with an entry signal, but we will not enter, because there are other lines between the green and purple lines. This candle is also good for entry, and we can place a buy order above it, but as a beginner, you must respect the conditions, in order to be able to master it very well. Here we can enter with confidence, all conditions are present, a red triangle above the candle, and the candle is above the purple line, and there are no lines between the green and purple line, yes, this is our target. The entry point will be a little above the wick of the candle, that is, you will not buy now, but if the price exceeds the wick limits, even slightly, we will buy directly. Yes, it is Hoffman's method, and what a genius way, he expects that, if the price in which resistance occurred, which is the resistance represented by the candle wick, will be broken, the price will rise up and strongly, and if it does not happen, you will not lose anything. Anyway, the stop loss and take profit as we said before. Well, let's review this strategy more and more, in order to discover its secrets. This is the candle that we used in our Telegram channel, and in fact, it did not meet the conditions, but as I told you, master it first, and you will find that you no longer miss any opportunity. Okay, let's take this important example. And let's say again, that we were trading here. Here we find a candle that did not meet the conditions. Here is another fake one, but this candle here, it looks good, and all conditions are met with it.
even the next candle, it is also good and meets the condition. Well, let's put an order here, according to the first candle. Now as you can see, we can't use the purple line to set the stop lost because it's touching the targeted candle, so we're going to use the green line, which is the EMA 20 line. Looks like there was an attempt to rebound the price, but depending on where the stop loss was, everything's were fine. Even here, at this candle, we can enter as well, unless there is a divergence. But what is the divergence? Just type in the comments and I'll tell you. And here we go, it was also a successful deal. Now, let me tell you the deep magic of this strategy. Suppose we see that the conditions are met and we entered here. Well, it's a pushback area and there is no horizontal trend, but let's say we want to enter here. As we said, the entry order will be slightly below the wick of the candle and the stop loss will be on the green or purple line. This is great, although, this deal did not work, but we did not lose anything, because the price did not reach the place of the entry order. Even if we place an entry order from this candle, we will not lose anything. And here lies the genius, because we did not reach the entry price, so we did not enter, and we did not lose anything. And how about getting into a short position under this candle? The same thing happened, we did not reach the place of entry, and we did not lose anything. Here too, as if this strategy is protecting you from loss, yes, it is great strategy in every sense of the word. Even in the uptrend, the same thing happens, this strategy will protect you as much as possible. Let's say we want to enter here at this candle and we place an order just above its wick, but after two hours, the trend has returned to the downside. No problem, because we didn't enter and we didn't lose either. Here too, the same thing happened, it is true that we did not win, but we did not lose anything. In taking profits, there is a simple strategy used by Hoffman, which is to change the places of take profit and stop loss each time to catch up with the candles, it is a financial management strategy before it is a technical strategy, and we can talk about it in the following videos if you wish. And before we finish this video, please read the following tips. 1. To avoid a trend reversal, try to add one of the divergence indicators to your chart. 2. Try to avoid entering and pullback movement as much as possible. 3. This strategy works perfectly with downtrends and uptrends, but it is recommended to use it with downtrends. 4. If you're trading on 5-minute chart and it's in an uptrend, you would like to see that your 15-minute chart also is in an uptrend. 5. To find out more, don't forget to visit our Telegram channel. Finally, don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.